So I'm officially in my mid 20s. Hello everyone and welcome welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Karima and I am so blessed to have you here. So yeah, I turned 25 two weeks ago and I joke about how I'm getting older and everything, but I am grateful to be at this age right now. I feel like I have more motivation at the moment, so I'm just happy to be alive. My birthday was Wednesday, September 11th, and I didn't get to do much because I did work that day. So because of that, I actually went ahead and got some birthday freebies on my birthday, which was actually really fun because I never actually did that before. So let's roll a clip to my birthday. So yeah, since it is my birthday, I ended up getting a pumpkin spice latte, of course for my morning as like a little treat after my workout. So that's what I got today. Um, it is Wednesday, September 11th. Um, again, bittersweet. A bittersweet day um, to be celebrating. Okay, so I got my order here. I'm also gonna get something for my mom. So I got the $6 McDouble meal deal for her and I got a medium fry for me and the free cheeseburger. So yeah. That's what I'm gonna get for my lunch today. I get my free burger and that. So, yeah, I'm going to head out and go get that now. Okay, y'all. I just secured the bag. Ooh. It was a mess in the background, by the way. I'm like trying to pick out a birthday outfit for this weekend. So, if it's messy, just know. Okay. All right. First things first water. And I got my McDonald's. So I ended up getting a free cheeseburger. And I bought myself a medium fry. Nothing too crazy. Because, yeah. And that's like one of my mom's fries. I mean, one of my mom's nuggets. So, yeah. Some honey mustard. Hey y'all, so it is literally like days later and I finally got my freebie of Krispy Kreme. Yes, I got Krispy Kreme, the free um, donuts. Well, technically you had to buy something in order to get the free donuts. So I just got the pumpkin spice cake uh, donut and that was like $2.49. And then I got these which were free and it's a two count no a three count of the regular glazed donuts so be sure to take advantage of your Krispy Kreme freebies y'all and I am hungry now so I definitely want to try this pumpkin donut this is the pumpkin donut let's see how this tastes okay so i did get some birthday freebies from like mcdonald's and krispy kreme but krispy kreme they made me purchase a donut to get three free donuts so i don't even think that's in the fine print and before it used to be a dozen donuts and now it's only three and then also on the morning of my birthday i ended up getting a pumpkin spice latte because I love fall as much as the next person so yeah <laughs> and then I did get to go out on the weekend um, so on Saturday uh, no actually on the Friday of my birthday I ended up going to dinner with my boyfriend so he set that up and stuff and then on Saturday I did a picnic with some friends so it was really fun and very chill for my 25th birthday just a little recap also, happy fall everyone. Cozy season is officially here. The weather's getting cooler. Well, except for today. Today was is humid, okay? And my hair, yeah, it it, it dropped its curls and everything. So forgive me for that. But it's humid today. The window is open right now. I had to turn on the AC for a little bit just to get some cool air in here because 
I don't know, it's a humid day today. But yeah, in the fall season, change is just happening all around us. Temperature has started changing here. The leaves are starting to fall. And so with that, I'm embracing the change that comes with the year 25 as well. This year, I just want to focus on growth, whether that means financially, spiritually, physically, mentally, all the things to just grow this year. Taking the year 25 as like almost like a reset, as an opportunity to just elevate myself this year and just to elevate every part of my life right now. With that being said, I will be sharing, I'll say five goals that I want to achieve this year. Um, I was going to do 25 goals, but like that seemed a bit too much. And then also like, I don't want to share everything out there of my goals because I feel like that could put kind of like a bad eye on you, if you will. Um, so I will just be sharing my five goals for this year, like my top five goals for this year. So yeah, number one will be to get closer to God. Yes. And I just want to get closer to God. I want to get in my word more, be more consistent on that, pray more, um, and to be more intentional about my prayers. And, you know, I feel like God is trying to do a new thing in my life right now where, you know, he's giving me more motivation, more energy again. Um, and I do feel like it's because I've been in such a slump for a while, for like this past year. And it's been a lot of setback, you know? So this year, I feel like um, he's bringing back my energy, which I feel like an immense amount of energy now. I don't know what it is, but it's like a burst of energy now that I'm, I'm able to do more, I feel motivated to do things and to get out there and to um, accomplish these goals that I'm mentioning to you guys now and um, to just better and elevate my life right now. So I think God is doing a new thing within my life and it is showing right now. Yeah, I cannot do any of the things that I want to do without him. So it is to get in my word and to um, study and to do all those things. Um, and the top verses that have been coming to my mind lately is no weapon formed against me shall prosper. And the other one is the Lord sustains me. Those have been really coming up into my mind lately. And so I think it is for a reason because I'm in this journey of trying to better myself and elevate my life this year, you know, and to have growth. And with that comes the enemy trying to um, rob that away from me, rob away my joy, rob away my peace, rob away um, my energy. And so... I think no weapon formed against me shall prosper is such a great verse for that because, and I've been playing that in my head constantly every day because it is getting me by and it is um, a very strong verse as well to to use. So yeah, that just came out fluently. And like, like I said, like I think he's doing a new thing where I'm able to, now I feel like I'm speaking more clearly, if that makes sense, like things are clearer. Number one is get closer to God, period. <laughs> Number two is to be more consistent on YouTube and my music. So I have not made music in probably about a year or two now, I'll say. Um, that is because I stopped making secular music. And now I'm on this journey of trying to make songs of worship or, you know, Christian R&B, if you will. I feel like I feel like my creativity is a part of who I am. It's always kind of been there since I was younger. Like I've loved, you know, um, theater and making music and acting. That's just something that I've loved throughout like elementary school, middle school, high school, even college. I went to performing arts college. So I feel like I feel like this year I've lost a little bit of motivation to to just to just create and have fun. I feel like creating content and um, making music are, are both creative outlets that I enjoy, but it's just now being more consistent on working on those things. This year, I would definitely like to work on that and consider this like a reset for this channel. Number three is a big one, and that is to pay off debt. 
and work on my savings. I am determined to be paying off any pre-existing debt that I've had, whether it be student loans, credit cards, all the things, um, to get rid of that debt so that I can move forward um, with my savings and things like that more consistently. Once that's over with, then I can move on with saving and, and just having a clear slate basically i'm not like too much in debt or anything like that thank god um but it's still there and i still want to get rid of it so have that off of my back number three is to work on my health and fitness goals this year i am currently working on my body recomposition journey so i'm just still trying to figure out all the things that i need to do to achieve that and um, you know, eating more protein, working on building muscle, things like that. Um, also, I'm being more conscious about what I'm eating more. One thing that has been really helping me uh, so much lately is um, cutting out caffeine. I feel like that has been also another reason why my energy has been so low is because I would drink caffeine every day and it's not like I need it because I work from home. So it's not really necessity. <laughs> it's not really a necessity because I'm not on the go for work or anything like that. I'm just sitting on my computer, on my laptops and working. Yeah, I feel like caffeine has just drained my energy. Once I stopped drinking caffeine, I noticed a huge increase in my energy. So. I cut that out and I feel so much better. I've been drinking green tea. I've been drinking green tea instead and decaf coffee because I do like to make protein um, iced coffees in the morning. So, um, and that's the main reason why I was drinking coffee in the first place is because I would make an iced coffee with protein. So um, now I use decaf coffee um, for my protein um, coffee in the morning. So yeah, and I, would drink it every day it would drain it it made me crash on top of the creamers that i was adding and stuff like that and the milk it just set me up to just be so tired in the afternoon so this year working on health my fitness eating better eating more greens um, I've noticed my hair has been growing more. Um, another thing I've been drinking is spearmint tea and I honestly think that has been helping my hair grow a lot. I don't know. It's two months ago my hair was not this long. I'm just letting you know. And spearmint tea is known for helping with hair loss and also help balance uh, hormones. So that's probably part of the reason why my hair is growing. It was because I've been drinking spearmint tea every day uh, for like two months. So I think that has played a huge role in my hair growth. You are what you eat, you are what you drink. So that was number three. Yeah. Okay. Oh no, sorry. That was number four guys. <laughs> number four. Okay. Sorry guys. Number five is going to be travel outside of the U S just recently I had just got my passport and it only took like two two weeks and maybe a few days to come in the mail and it wasn't expedited at all it's just regular standard processing it was a quick process easy process you just get all your documents birth certificate id and go to the post office give them everything and that's it i needed a new passport because i had one when i was younger but i have not been able to find that passport ever since i was younger that, you know so i got a new passport and i'm so happy that i was able to do so because you know this gives more opportunity to travel outside the states and to explore places that i would like to travel to would probably be um so the dominican republic probably punta cana um egypt for sure um because obviously my father's from there and italy Italy or France, Paris, France would be nice too. Yeah, that is my last goal. That was number five. So that is, I think, it for this video. Um, I thank you guys for watching. Again, let this video be a reset for this channel. And I am hoping to be more consistent on this channel. I will say I will be more consistent on this channel. How about that? Because 
we need to actually be consistent <laughs> i thank you guys for being here for watching for taking the time to watch like subscribe if you will i hope to see you guys in the next video and happy fall everybody peace